Okay, here we are again. This is our last video for the night, and then we're going night-night. This comes from one of my, my subbies, <laughs> who said that um, her mother-in-law has moved in with them. They have a one-bedroom apartment. Her and her husband work. But the mother-in-law has moved in um, and has taken over the master bedroom. The only bedroom there is. And um, my subby and her husband sleep out on the couch. They are newlyweds. They've been married just over a year. Um, they've been trying to have kids. Uh, but it's hard to do that in the living room when your mother-in-law didn't took the bed. The king-size bed. Um, they are sending the mother to go visit uh the other kids for about four months but she doesn't want her to come back and live with them but a quick make a baby yeah you know because they're they're trying to get on with their life um and they both work and when they come home you know it's kind of odd to have to sleep on the couch while your mother-in-law is sleeping in the bedroom I, I think it should have been the other way around i know that i love my mama he loves his mama, but now one of them is going to take our bed. They'll be sleeping on the couch. So, you have a one bedroom. The one thing you can do is take it. Take it away. Well, there's several things you can do. One is you could possibly, if you can afford it, get a two bedroom apartment. And, you know, They're that way. They're saving up to buy a house. Huh? They're saving up to buy a house. Well, I know. You can still do that. Okay. I'm saying that uh, you can buy, you can get a two bedroom apartment. It may cost you a little more, but make it may it. make your life a lot easier when mom in law comes to stay with you. Um, what was the other one I said? Well, what else could they do? That's only one. You said there were several ways. Yeah. Uh, help her find her apartment. Yeah, help her find her own apartment. Uh, if she can afford it, uh, it might have to be close because, uh, from what I understand, she's scared to live on her own. Is that what it was? Yeah. And it may have to be close to you, but that would mean she would be there all the time. Well, hell, if she lives there, she'd be there all the damn time. No, I'm saying if you had a two bedroom, she may go up for, you know, she's go she's leaving for a while. Yeah. She can still leave for a while if you got a two bedroom. Yeah. Well, if that doesn't work and you can't afford to get a two bedroom and she can't afford to live on her own, for right now, this is what you need to do. You really need to talk to your mother in law, you and your husband, because it's his mother. You need to talk to her and let her know, you know what? We, we, we enjoy you staying with us and all, but we really have to have our bedroom back. We enjoy with you staying with us. Yeah, well, I don't think. What so. are you gonna say? Well, you know, damn it, why are you here? Yeah. <laughs> so, let her know that when she comes back after December, when she comes back, that um, she's, you know, because you guys are newlyweds, you need your bedroom, you need your space, you need your privacy, um, because you are trying to have children, and and it's best, uh, it, it's 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 hard to have a baby in the living room. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. Wouldn't you rather have it in the bedroom? Or making the baby anyway. Making the that's right. Yeah, making the baby. Do it in the bedroom. But just ask your mother, your mother in law to you know, um when she comes back that you know And if, if she's going somewhere for four months, why why can't she stay there? Because <laughs> Are they trying to have babies too? Yeah. You know. Well, I don't know. So yeah, just let her know that if she if, if you guys have decided to have her come back to live with you and you can't do one, get a two bedroom apartment or two, help her get her own place and she's gotta stay with you for a while. Um because you don't want to kick your mother in law out. You know, you don't want to do that because that's his mama. Remember that. Um let her know that, you know, for right now, you'll have to sleep in the living room and take your bedroom back because that's where you, you guys need to, you know, have your privacy. So take the bedroom back and let her know that, you know, when you come back, you know, if you don't mind, you'll have to sleep on the couch or we can buy you a, a pop-up bed, a blow-up bed, 
you know. Yeah. And one thing you have to keep in mind because your your husband is military. What happens if you PCS? You know. You get an assignment. Yeah. What happens to the mother in law then? She just travels with him and lives with him. No, she's gonna. Well, not unless they claim her as a dependent. We better think about that. You know. My guess is they don't. Yeah. So, make sure you talk to your mother-in-law and let her know that when she comes back, she'll be sleeping on the couch. You guys are taking back your bedroom because you need that privacy because you guys are newlywed. And um, also think about the future. You know, what happens five months from now or a year from now if he gets orders and you guys move. You, she's not going to be able to just travel with you like that, you know. You really need to think about getting her into her own place, some place where she's, you know, secure and... And not afraid. Okay? Alright, um, subbies, if you guys have any um, anything you want to add to that, please do so at the bottom. We appreciate it. Alright, deuces everyone. Bye. Good night.